Welcome back to the channel, lovely, lovely Yorker. I'm Andrew, and today I played Miro. Just as you can see here, I'm in the sea, and it is absolutely gorgeous temperature. A Kudia, it's only about, so I turn around a little bit, a is only just 15 minute walk that way, and can pick up us in the other way. We are just on the outskirts, as I'm saying, I played the Miro. Taking reserve the umbrella, as you can see. I think the minimal is three days from reserve them for, but apart from that, as long as you like. So we do like to bring our own stuff. Just going to take a little walk down now, by the beach, to the Cadessa, see how busy it is. The actual sand is beautiful and warm, really it's lovely and warm today. Make sure you had a lot of sunblock if you're down here. Even though it's a bit windy today, you definitely feel the heat in the, in the sun itself. And I love to look at the sea, it's so crystal clear. Really is gorgeous. Again, it's so bright here, I can't even see the picture is on the um, on the phone itself now. Don't forget to keep drinking your liquids. They get dehydrated very quickly when it is so hot over here. It's it's about 32 degrees. Could be a little bit warmer now because it's been the um the best part if you like of the day, the hottest part of the day. Still got the looky looking people out there selling their blankets and things. Lots of children in the sea. Lovely to see so many people out swimming, you know. They're really so friendly, they really are. They have a chat with everybody. And plenty of these trips on. It's a safe power sailing over there. The only thing I've even seen are the donuts. I don't know if they stopped doing donuts but you've got the banana boat. But lots of different different trips on the boats going. You rent a boat down the port. You don't have to have a license. You've done license, you get a, a boat for everyone. Just so over here, you, this is where you get your pa paragliding and things from. The next Condessa there. That's a, a big old hotel that is. We've got all the water sports just outside here. Because that, that's a good thing about this, you can just sit in the sea and enjoy the, the waves going over you and the, the sea is actually quite warm, it's beautiful. A little bit chilly when you first go in, but it doesn't take long to um, warm up. And so this walk here, actually, you can make it all the way down to Campicapo if you've got the time. And that's a nice walk. There's a condenser there. So that's where you can take your pay for your trips.
Oh, they want Oh, the parasail is 50 a person. That is brilliant fun, that is. Got these other ones here now. Get a banana, crazy UFO, the Ferrari, and the Sting. So many people can't be wrong, can they? The reason we like it up here, because this the part of the beach where we sit in the moment is um, a lot quieter because the coolie gets really, really busy. Then you get the little bit of free bit, if you like, up to the beginning of the play de Muro. And then from here, as you can see here, it gets a bit busy again. That's the reason why we, nine times out of 10, we come to where we are. And there's quite a bit of shade there as well, under the trees. So if you are lucky enough to be staying in one of these villas or apartments along here, or one of the many hotels, what could be worse than coming out your back door just there, straight onto this beach here, and then straight into the sea for a swim before breakfast? Couldn't go that better than that, could you? They're so gonna go back in the sea now. It's beautiful and clear to see, you know. All these people in here. So I've said so many times, no matter how far you go out within reason, you don't actually go out and get out of your depth at all. We need to get a big boat going by. This the old the waves are really high. That's a good fun about it. I remember we were young when the granddad used to sit on the waves and jump over them when they came by. And it goes from being quite deep to being very shallow again, as you can see here by the people. And then it goes a little bit deeper again. Just over my ankles again now. A minute ago it was up to my knees, now it's down to my ankles. All these people can't be wrong, can they? And the sea is so warm. They said the old waves are quite high. <laughs> there you go. It takes away the surprise a bit. And then now I'm up to my waist now. But I'm not that far away from the shore, from the sand. So I was saying there's a condenser over there, going down that way. There's um, Camp Hick, if you walk far enough. Got played the Miro, which is on the outskirts of Acudia, really, but it's just as um, Acudia touches played the Miro, that sort of area we are. It's just nice round here, doesn't get overcrowded like the main Acudia beach does, which is only a little walk in that down that direction. Let's follow around. You got Acudia porches over there, so we're really central, really. But around this way, you don't actually get many bars. You have to walk onto the main part of um, Play de Muro. You've got a few around there. You've got Smiths. A few other little bars just around the corner here. You've got a petrol station at the end of the road so you can get yourself a Coke or whatever there. We're not that far from anywhere. Some lovely cafes. If you haven't brought packed lunch, we brought packed lunch with us. What a beautiful day it's been at the beach. Hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, don't forget their Facebook and all this little. Nothing like Yorker. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.